We are so excited that you purchased the Spiegel 60609 home sewing machine and before you get started with some of the basic tutorials in the app, we want to make sure that you have the fundamental tools that you need to get started. So you're going to need a sewing machine and we hope you have your Spiegel 60609 ready. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors and pinking shears, preferably ones that have not been used or that are designated for fabrics only. Um, you can see that we tag ours just to make it easy. You're going to need thread. So you can have all kinds of colors and different arrays of thread. Um, per, uh, particularly depending upon your project, you're going to want thread that is specific to that project. So if you're embroidering or monogramming, you're going to want an embroidery thread. Um, if you're doing something um, that is uh, not requiring a lot of strength, but you want more beautiful color, you may go with a cotton. Um, for polyester, you may want something that's more durable. Um, so you know, make sure that you research your project and make sure that you're using the right kind of thread. You do not want to use cheap bargain basement thread. I cannot stress that enough. Thread is extremely important. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have all the feet that you need for your particular project. This is a zipper installation foot. Um, we also have a zigzag foot um, and you come with about 15 to 20 different feet standard with the 60609. I'm not going to go through all of them but just make sure that you choose the appropriate foot for the project you're working on including but not limited to also your one step buttonhole foot. You're going to want to make sure that you have your spool caps for your different types of threads. So again, depending on the size of the thread, uh, you have different caps for your machine. You're going to want to make sure for different projects that you have things like straight pins handy. I use multicolored ones because I think it's more fun and it's easy to see when you're sewing. You're going to want to also make sure that you have um, your different kinds of rulers. Um, I love my plastic grid rulers, but there are a lot of people that love their metal rulers, um, hip curves, and anything else that you might feel that um, will make it easier for you to cut your fabrics. Um, you're going to want a fabric cutter. Again, uh, a singular blade like this makes it so much easier to cut out your patterns at home, so I highly recommend getting one if you don't have one already. You're going to want to make sure you have extra bobbins to run your different colored threads to make it easier uh, once you get up and running on your machine. You're going to want to have extra needles in case you break one during your sewing project. And if you're doing patterns, you're going to want pattern weights. Some of them are cuter than others. <laughs> um, but you can use simple household items like um, cans of soup um, or anything that has a little bit of weight to it to weigh down your pattern at home. You're also going to want to make sure you have an iron that is handy, um, such as this one. Any, any household iron will do to make sure that you can press your seams or your fabrics during your cutting process and also during your finishing process in between steps. So make sure you have all your materials. If you're putting in a zipper, you're going to want to have the zipper handy. Um, you may want to keep your operation manual for, manual rather for your Spiegel 60609 handy in case you have any questions or need a little help along the way.